Hey guys, welcome back to another VCM Suite tutorial video. My name is Tony Gagnon and I'm the North American Ford Gas Sales Manager here at HB Tuners. Today we're going to show you how to disable the Active Fuel Management or AFM or DOD using VCM Suite. So in the GM world, we have the Active Fuel Management or Displacement on Demand as you want to call it. And it causes a lot of problems in the fleet world. So, and customers may want that turned off, especially if they change to a non-DOD camshaft. So in order to turn it off, we need to turn off in the software. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and read a file and we're going to turn that off and I'll show you how to do it. We'll go ahead and read the file, we'll gather our info. I'm not going to use the constant control module. I'm not going to read that. So there's no credits applied to that. So I'm going to do a read strictly for the engine and transmission. Okay, we've read the file now, so we have the file up on display. So let me go through the steps and show you exactly what we need to do to turn off the Displace on Demand, or Active Fuel Management, as you call it. So we have the file here. We're gonna to go to the fuel selection. We're gonna to go to the lean fuel saving, and that's in the Dodge world as well. It's up in the same point for the Dodge MDS. Over here, you see the DOD, it says enable. We're going to disable that switch. Now, at that point in time, we could be completely done, but what I like to do is also disable the minimum VSS by setting it to 300 mile per hour. That way there's no way it can activate even if the switch was enabled, it will not come on. I will save the file as DOD delete. At that point in time, we would write the file. Write vehicle. We'd go ahead and write the vehicle at that point and write. So now that the file is written to the vehicle, we can crank it up and go dry the vehicle and it will not go from eight to six to four cylinder mode anymore. So your exhaust won't sound like it's got <clears throat> something going on in the rear of it. And if you've got an aftermarket camshaft, it will run correctly because it's not on four cylinders. That's all there is to turning off the active field management or displacement on demand. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a better grasp on disabling the active fuel management. If you have any questions, please comment below so we can help you out. We also have plenty of resources linked in the description to check out too. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content and we'll see you in the next video.